Alrighty, happy Friday in the sixth day of Inktober. Oh my gosh, we're almost at a week. I can't believe it. We're almost at a week of Inktober doodles. It's so exciting. Anyways, for today's prompt from Jake Parker's list, the word was sword. Now, when I thought of sword, there are so many swords you can associate it with, and I first thought of, oh, I'm gonna draw Link from Zelda and his awesome sword. But then I thought, uh, since I, you all have been listening to me rant about how much I love the Harry Potter books, and I have recently have been reading all the Harry Potter books for the first time, and I'm currently on the Goblet of Fire because it's a fat book, <laughs> and, and then even um, the what the next one, the Order of Phoenix, is like huge. It's just as big as the Goblet of Fire, so I'm not even close to being done with the Goblet of Fire. But when I read um, the Chamber of Secrets with Harry Potter. I mean, I've seen, we've all seen the movie. If you've seen the movie, then you know what happens in the movie. Um, Fox the Phoenix brings Harry the sorting hat in the Chamber of Secrets and drops the sorting hat in front of Harry. And Harry's like, well, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? And it happens to have the sword of Gryffindor, Godric G Gryffindor, inside the sorting hat. And then Harry pulls out the sword and successfully kills the Basculus. So... Spoiler alert! Whoa! Should have said that before. <laughs> but I love the whole backstory um, backing the Sword of Gryffindor. Uh, if you watch movies or read the books, or even if you are jumping around on Pottermore, the sword appears to a true Gryffindor person. So it appeared for Neville, it appeared for Harry, and it appeared it went to Ron. Like, in a way, I don't know. That's how I interpreted it in Deathly Hollows that. It was only to be wielded by Ron in that state because of how brave Ron is as a Gryffindor student and during those really hard times in Deathly Hollows. I don't know, you can speculate all these different theories off the uh, Sword of Gryffindor. So I wanted to draw the scene of Harry in the Chamber of Secrets with Fox facing off Tom Riddle and the Basculus. Um, so that's what I wanted to do. And it's interesting because I'm loving this whole half and half of using actual ink and watering it down, using it as watercolor, and then going in and giving it a little bit more detail and adding my cross hatching with my ink ballpoint pens. This is basically all just cheap art supplies challenges. <laughs> um, the only thing I would have probably done different is to Fox is add more maybe Copic markers ink to him just because he is supposed to be this phoenix and he's supposed to be this bright red bird. So yeah, but I really love the way that it, this turned out. So the Sword of Gryffindor is one of my favorite swords. I gotta say that Frodo's sword is like my second favorite and I almost drew Frodo too. And then I have to say, like, Legolas's swords. I, I'm a huge Lord of the Rings nerd. I was a huge Lord of the Rings nerd before any kind of fandom I wanted to be part of. I was in love with Legolas. I feel like I've already have explained this many times. <laughs> that Lord of the Rings was my first fandom. And then I grew into different fandoms as I went down the line. And then I also thought my third runner-up of... Uh, no, my fourth after Legolas' sword of favorite swords would have to be Peter Pevensey's sword from the Chronicles of Narnia that Santa gave to him just because you could see Aslan on the sword and that's what I really love about that, especially on the hilt, on the top of the hilt. I don't know what it's called again, but you know, those pieces of swords, but I love swords. I wish swords were more of a, a thing these days like oh yes i brought my double-edged sword to work today oh my gosh that's just so horrible <laughs> no no swords <laughs> but i love swords i think they're they're pretty cool weapons if i were living in medieval times i think i'd carry a sword everywhere too i think you had to i don't know but yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you all tomorrow bye